Hey guys, welcome back to Agrarian Skies, episode 2 with me, Gideon. Uh, first episode, we released kind of an introduction to the game. Um, I talked about the mechanics of the game, how it works on a quest basis. Uh, we've done some uh, basics in Minecraft, some uh, tree punching. Uh, crafted a few items that we was meant to, some Tinker's Construct Table, etc. We was given this QDS quest delivery system. And uh, what we're looking at doing now, guys, we're, we're waiting for this silk to um, be generated within these the tree leaves cut so be a silkworm that we got from a drop um, I've, I've got a few here I'm just going to punch these just so you guys can see what I mean it's not going to stop the other leaves becoming infested as long as we leave one white leaf um, I crafted up some some crooks just to keep us going the, you know I mean they're, they're really quick but they the durability is really slow but as you can see straight away we get eight string uh, we've got another silk worm drop so we're gonna get plenty of those uh, just gonna have a bite to eat for hunger uh, now our next quest is we have to craft a bed a fishing rod a sieve and a hammer So uh, the hammer, uh, just a wooden hammer for um, ex nihilo, something like that. Anyway, uh, do, 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 do. right, that gives one wall. So we're not going to get a lot. So we'll leave that a minute. Wait for the other string. Uh, we can do a, a fishing rod though. So we're going to do that, and while we're waiting. For the, the rest of the leaves I'm gonna do a spot of fishing in our uh, river here maybe maybe that should do Come on. This isn't playing. We got our first fish. Cool. They're almost done. We'll just try to get one more. Um, apples are good, but obviously they don't replenish your hunger very well. So um, I want to get a few fish from here and uh, use that pan that I, I, I got on the, the last episode. What I am mindful of, guys, is this area here. If we hit F7 on our keyboard, it it kind of brings up a, a, a graph of where mobs can spawn, um, and it's quite a large area. So even though we're kind of up here, um, I think there should almost just be enough distance between where we are and that far corner that a mob can spawn. So you're yeah, gonna have to keep an eye on that. Don't really want that happening, especially a creeper or something that will really ruin our day. I'm going to come back to that. So, yeah, it looks like uh, it doesn't take long. As you can see, we're not quite paused or anything and wait for it off camera. It doesn't take very long for the leaves to become infested. Now, just a quick kind of brief on some of the mods. I've not really reviewed the mods, etc., but. 
Uh, from what I have seen, there's, there's the Thorncraft, uh, one of my favourite mods, um, current modded Minecraft, especially Magic Paste. Uh, there's a Pardo Logistics, which uh, another really cool mod that I love. Um, there's quite a few kind of mods, and there's uh, Mariculture, adds uh, has a massive variety of food, so yeah, we can uh, cook up some really good food once we get some resources going. Think we'll plant another sapling down and put another silkworm on it just to get us some more silk for the time being. There we go, we'll put you there and you there. Uh, now, hunger is, uh, I mean, there's no sort of hunger haul, overhaul based uh, mod or config change for this game but you know with the kind of work you're doing just a punch of wood constantly doing stuff it does drain your hunger and uh, we need a food supply to replenish it now this frying plan we can put a fish in it put some logs in and it will cook that fish up hopefully that's what I'm counting on anyway Yeah, we've got a, a progress bar here, a slow progress bar, but a progress bar nonetheless. Um, it doesn't seem to be too bad with the oak wood, but it's kind of slow. So I'm going to, for want of a better word, go do some more fishing. Hopefully catch a few more, wait for these uh, leaves to become infested, and then we'll be back. Um, i got two whole fish and that's it but with uh, all these leaves are infested so we'll just cut these just to get the string off them and get another sapling down and let that go away. the way and as you can see the, the the drop for string is, is quite good and we get plenty of these uh, little grubs these silkworms back so just doing uh, that gives us 45 strings so yeah really cool Stay for a minute. Uh, we've got another cooked fish. Uh, right, the next part of our quest was a, a sieve, fish wood, wooden hammer that we've done, and a bed. Um, so we need four, sorry, three wool. We've got the bed and uh, a sieve. Uh, silk mesh planks and sticks so we want two silk mesh two okay so we should have everything we've got uh, and then we get to pick either sugarcane seed cotton uh, carrot or normal seed um, I need the cotton, carrot, seed, that before we could that we've got uh, another, uh, no, we need to craft a cobblestone. Okay, so yeah, what we need to do uh, with these oak barrels, uh, we need to put these saplings in. It takes eight saplings. 
I just need to be careful that we don't use all our saplings and over time as we can see the colors will start to change and these will uh, compost or ferment into soil um, and as we can see from the whalia at the, the top of the screen the percentage so we'll come back to those in a minute and any new kind of episode or, or new world of minecraft is always kind of a bit slower to sometimes uninteresting. I really could kind of enjoy the early game experience of uh, Minecraft uh, but it could be kind of a bit repetitive. I'm going to try and keep the content as entertaining as I can um, but I, I do also want to share the kind of the full experience of what we're doing here. I'm going to put some more silkworms down. I'm just going to do one, let that go over time because I've got yeah, quite a bit of wood. I, I, we, we need to just keep punching wood to get as many saplings as we can. Uh, but as we can see, we've got three dirt ready. And now we want to use our sieve. So if I. I'm going to put this here. So we just put the dirt in the sieve, right click it, and we get four stone chunks, which will give us the cobblestone. Uh, so we're going to get the carrot seeds, we'll claim that reward now. I'm going to use one of these dirt, um, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it down here. Plant a carrot seed. Uh, no, we're not. Because we need, we need it next to a water source. Now, what we don't have is I, I, that's, I, I kind of I, I like a little waterfall, so I don't really want to put the dirt here. Put the carrot seed down. Um, Let's put it. Let's put it here. And hopefully, we can plant the carrot seed now. No, we need. We need a hoe, and I don't think we can craft a hoe. find out. Now oh, we can. Cool. Okay. There we go. So we've got a carrot growing. Cool. So that's going to take a bit of time. Uh, right. Let's look at our quests. Uh, obviously the, the the last thing we got was obviously this enchanted stone axe, which Bane of Anthropods 5, I think that is, I'm not very good with the Roman numerals. Um, so now we've opened up quite a few kind of different chapters. Uh, we've got being resourceful, fungus and manus. Um, being resourceful. Uh, so tusks. Right, I think this is where our hammer would come into play. We need to do some sand, some cobblestone, some gravel, some dust. Uh, that is done by now using our hammer. Breaking that into gravel. Gravel into sand sand into dust that should complete that chapter so we get to claim a reward bag and we, we get all these as a reward so really cool so let's have a look see what's in our reward bag ah four more saplings ah, that's okay um, 
Now this dust, do we sieve this dust? Let's go in this. Yeah, we can sift the dust. Now what this will give us is pulverized ores. So we've got some search quartz, oh, we've got some sugar cane seeds, uh, some nickel ore and some iron ore. Um, let's get that fish and eat. So yeah, that's kind of the cycle that we're going to have to go through, guys. There, where I say about, I want to kind of share the full experience with you. You obviously don't want to see sit here and watch me do the basics on just um, you, you keep sort of breaking trees, getting saplings, fermenting the saplings, getting gravel, breaking the gravel, turning it into sand, sifting it through, etc., etc., just to get us ores. Um, so I'll, I'll do that off camera. Uh, We've completed the fishing trip already, so and we get we're gonna get these as rewards. Let's claim a reward bag. Uh, that's useful. You can go in there. Uh, complete survival is not tasty. Fungus among us, dust in the wind. So what uh, what we need to do? I mean, it's the same broken ores, but I think the, the, the uh, that can count as pulverized. Uh, so we need to get uh, four iron ore, put it in a crafting grid, and hopefully that will, will give us uh, this dust in the wind quest. Uh, melting stone. We need an unfired crucible and an unfired clay bucket. So we'll do that next episode. And uh, so we need to craft a sifter. We can do that easily. Uh, so we want plank sticks, uh, fishing nets. So that's easy enough. We can do that. Gives us four. Sticks, two planks, one sifter. And uh, now, what I believe this does, uh, if we put that down, we'll just put that down here. No, sorry, we're going to need that in our inventory to claim a reward. Click another reward bag. Cool. 16 nether gold ore. Wicked. Now I'm going to put the bed down. We're just going to kind of. Um, no, I'm not putting it outside because I'll probably respawn and fall off. Let's just sleep through the night. Right, so we'll put our sifter down, and I think what a sifter does now do we just you do we it's not the same as the sieve, is it? Nope. Um see maggot bait. No, I Try this. I've absolutely no idea whatsoever. That's an idea. I can't break that. No idea whatsoever what a sifter does. This is going to take a bit of time. A 
so all this is going to do is eventually just break the ore. We're not going to get any kind of return on it uh, because our clumsy pickaxe cannot harvest it yet. Come on. I think I'd have probably been quicker doing it by hand, but almost there. There we go. Right, there's no GUI with a sifter. So do we just... Guys, uh, this is where you come in. Any ideas, leave a comment in the section below. I really have not got a clue what it does, but yeah, we'll come back to it. Um, my carrots aren't doing anything yet. Now let's... We've got this reed fishing rod. Uh, so usable bait, ant bait, bread, grasshopper bait. We've got none of those. We did get some maggot bait from Mariculture. Uh, I wonder if... No, don't know. Really don't know. Um, so let's have another quick look in the guide. Uh, okay, so we need a bone and a zombie brain. So yeah, we're going to have to uh, build a mob platform. So I'll probably just do that off here in a while. Um, dust in the wind. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Uh, yeah, obviously a uh, quest to build a tinker's construct smeltery. Now that's going to take quite a lot because obviously for a smeltery we need clay, sand and gravel. So that's going to be a lot of saplings, a lot of um, dirt to uh, stone to sand to gravel. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of manual stuff. I'll, I'll probably do this all off camera guys. No, no. You know, you don't really want to sit there and watch me do all this. We want to get onto some more interesting stuff um, as we kind of go through the chapters. Uh, the, the, you know, I mean, as we can see, we've already opened up so, a, a lot of other options. Uh, we've got Hell's Kitchen. You know, this is where I think Mariculture comes into play, where there's a, a lot of stuff to cook, a, a juice or a bake when we mix it bowl. So, yeah, uh, bees and trees. Um, there's, there's beekeeping is, is part of it. Um, for the holding is about storage. Uh, this is where kind of applied logistics, deep storage units, etc. comes into the game. And go with the flow, fluid storage. So yeah, all about liquids and stuff. So yeah, lots to do. There's still powered fight. There's uh, wizardry. So that's where the magic, etc. comes in. Um, Dragon rights. Thermal expansion. Yeah, so lots and lots of stuff to do, guys. Um, blood magic. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of stuff to do. Like I say, but really, before we kind of get into any of this, uh, there's a lot of basic work to do. I'll do that off camera. No one wants to sit here and watch me do that. Um, Hope you've enjoyed the episode guys, please do come back for episode 3, any ideas, tips, tricks or comments leave in the comments section below and don't forget to rate and subscribe, until now and then, take it easy.